This is the 2023 Brewtubers Online Brewers Club Yeast Experiment, British Brown Ale. Thanks to our sponsors, Imperial Yeast, Five Star Chemicals, Yakima Valley Hops, Beer and Wine Hobby Homebrew Store, and Brewers Hardware. Let's get tasting. What's up, guys? Chris back from Burgles Brewing with review number five of eight in the Brewtubers 2023 Experiment British Brown Ale, our yeast experiment. Um, this one I got here. Uh, Matt from Wrecked Brewing. Uh, really, really excited to try this. Haven't had one of Matt's beers yet, so again, really excited to crack into this and see what he's got here. He named this one Bedford Bell Ringer. Uh, you can see it right there. Uh, he used the WLP006, I believe, the Bedford Ale Strain from uh, White Labs. Let me get in there. Yeah, WLP06. There you go. Uh, so, let's see here. Got some stuff on the can here. Um, OG was 1054, FG1008, finished at 6%. So, right up there with Nick Exit 12's beer as far as percentage. So, a little more attenuation than you'd expect from from an English ale, um, but here we go, Matt. Another another. He said, "I'm the only one in this experiment that didn't can." So you're gonna get Matt got some canning. He's been canning for a little bit here now. Has nice own custom labels on there. So without further ado, let's crack it and get into it and see see what we got here. Oh, that was a good good hiss, good pop. That was nice. That might, that might be one of the most more solid pops I've got at the homebrew can. It's pouring, it's, it looks crystal clear pouring out of the can into the glass, but we'll leave, leave some of the kids still in here not get the whole thing, but uh, pouring, yeah, nice, nice dark amber kind of, you know, mahogany as I've used before kind of coloring in here, maybe a little darker than some of the other ones. Again, my lighting down here isn't the best. Let me just try to get the ring light, see if it'll get anything else on camera. Eh, not a whole lot, but. Again, if I clear the condensation of the glass, uh, I can see my fingers clear through. It might be one of the more clear um, beers I've had so far in the experiment. Um, but color, yeah, color's right there. Got this nice ruby red hints in it. Let's get in, let's give, give it a little nose here. Ooh, this is, this is, this is definitely different than the others so far. Um, not in a bad way. Uh, but it's got a, a little more um, maybe fruity English ester to it than than some of the other ones where like lean more malty to the caramel notes. But I think this, this is a little more upfront fruitiness to it, not so much the the dark stone fruits. You guys might have a little a little caramel, maybe a little, a little apple in there, um, like pear notes to it. It's really pleasant. It's, it's interesting. Give me a slight hint of like a little chocolate. No roast. Got this nice, nice off-white tan head. Not quite tan. More like off-white to it. It's sticking around for a while. Maybe one of the, again, maybe one of the more longer heads I've had stick around. So let's get into the taste. First instinct, it's blown away. It's really, really nice, really, really good. Um, couldn't discern anything despicable because it just, you know, first taste just went down so easy, so good, so smooth that I was kind of blown away, actually, to be honest. Um, it didn't really pick up anything specifically to, to comment on. All right, so. Body is medium, straight up medium, not heavy, not thin, not dry, not, it's all around medium, hit your palate medium, finishes medium, um, not overly, for 10.08 and not overly dry, surprising, um, and it could be the yeast character, something to do with the yeast, but really nice bitterness, no, nothing really to speak of again, Brandon, you, you wouldn't expect it. Carb is really nice in this again, more medium. 
um, an, enough to cut through some a little bit of the sweetness, but not overwhelming where it dries you really quick like some maybe some of the others have. I think it's really well balanced as far as you know carb to body everything. I definitely get, you're not supposed to taste sweet, but I get a little bit of sweetness, heavy caramel, uh, not a whole lot of, uh, like a, no, no toffee really, more of a caramel, I'm not getting a whole lot of chocolate on the flavor um, as I did in the aroma, maybe a slight hint, a slight, slight hint of roast in there just to kind of balance it out. And I think as I'm sticking my nose back in there, as it warms up a little bit, I'm getting maybe a little bit of black licorice. Um, again, it could just be me. And the black licorice to me isn't off-putting. I actually enjoy black licorice, so it's it's not off-putting to me. It's really, really nice. Ooh, in that sip, I almost got like a, like a bread crust cracker, almost like a pretzel crust type thing. Like a little, Definitely a little more malt, a little more malt character in there than I've gotten in the other ones where I just get more sweetness, caramel, toffee, roast, um, and maybe more of a sweet maltiness, not like a not like a base malt character. But I think I'm getting a little bit of that maybe Maris Otter coming through with this yeast and a little bit more. Like, yeah, definitely picking up like a bready, like I said, like almost like a pretzel crust type a breadiness and the aroma with a hint now of like black licorice and a little bit of caramel. Oh, it's really nicely balanced. See, so yeah, the sip too is not, nothing is in your face or overwhelming about this. I think balanced is, is the best word I can give it. And a lot of people use balance as like a, oh, and, and this, I think this is balanced in the best sense of it. Like, there's a there's there's enough of everything. It's it's got the malt. It's got the sweetness. It's got a little bit of the darker malts that we added in here. And I think they're really ex accenting each other really well. And whatever the yeast, I've never I don't think I've ever heard of WLP006 before. Um, I think it's one of the the, the the bigger ones. Like 005 is a good one. 002 you hear about a lot. Um, 007 I think is the dry English strain. So you hear a lot about those. Um, but the Bedford, I've never heard of, but I mean, yeah, this to me so far, it's definitely, it's definitely my favorite out of all the ones I've had so far. This is the fifth one. Um, I just think it's, it's really well balanced. It's almost, and maybe not quite um, as dark for a brown ale as you'd expect. Maybe it's kind of the English style of it, but I think for uh, an American bread, you want a little more roasty, a little more dark. And this more kind of, I think, almost resembles more of like a flavor profile of like a amber ale. But it's just, it's it's balanced but com complex. Like, I'm really finding hard to find descriptors for it, but I'm enjoying it so much. I keep going back in, trying to figure it out, but... There's something classically English about it in the ester, like, aroma and flavor, but it's hard to really pinpoint what those notes actually are, at least for me. I'm going to try again, but, yeah, overwhelming. The aroma definitely is definitely getting something like a black licorice again. Not off-putting to me. Love black liquor, so it's it's right there. I think maybe it's more of like a the darker malt mixed with the fruity esters of this kind of. That's kind of what I'm getting out of it. Very profile, like I said. A little bit of sweetness, and caramel, maybe a touch of roast in there, but it's like really well balanced, not overwhelmingly in any direction. Um, very very drinkable beer so far. My I think my favorite uh, as, as we've gone on here and I'm just gonna swirl it a little bit but even then like this this little thin like quarter inch 
quarter inch layer of head that's been sitting here the whole time is really really nice um still getting used to it got a new little new setup here with the with, a, with an ipad got the camera on this side so it's get a little thrown off north used to having the camera on that side um that's here under there it doesn't really matter this but yeah this is matt great great beer uh whew, i'm glad i think i have another can of this in the fridge too um so i'm gonna finish this one very quickly and that other one might go <laughs> very quickly as well because this is fantastic like i said so far my favorite i um, wish i could put more descriptors on it other than that but it this one just this one just speaks to me for some reason i don't know why it's just it's calling my name it, it's got me it grabbed me it's really it pulled me in mm, it's like a siren it sang its song to me it got me it dragged me under I'm full in there. Um, yeah, Matt, great job. Uh, I got three more left in the series, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, until next time, guys. Hey, it's been fun. Cheers.